Well, hello YouTube and welcome to Assassin's Creed Revelations playthrough of the Forgotten One. I don't know why I did that intro, but yeah. Um, I was an hour in into this game playing, doing some live commentary, and then my phone goes off. I don't know why, but um, yeah, I was doing some live commentary and right when I decided to stop and then start trying to like render some and then record some more my laptop decided to take a poop on my on itself so I'm gonna replay this game all over again with new voice and everything and oh, what failure what failure <clears throat> but yeah we're gonna get on with this game at least I know where to shut up in certain places in the beginning but here goes session two for me, one for you guys. So I probably won't talk until like half an hour later. Like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell them we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles, your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. Yeah. Doing our best. But you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we used to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair, a stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you were Ezio Auditore, a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden. <laughs> That strange artifact left behind by those people. The ones who came before. You know the apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented and falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. <laughs> Okay, I shut down the Animus monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. So where I last left off was way farther into the game but a new introduction, a new posting I should say but welcome YouTube this is Assassin's Creed Revelations this is going to be my playthrough I will be doing this blind or as other YouTubers would say but I consider it just a playthrough not a walkthrough because <coughs> a walkthrough is pretty much where you play the game and you know what to do and you know where to go. I'm doing a playthrough which I pretty much don't know what to do well at this point I do but later on I'm not oh I didn't see that one before but yeah what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be playing this game be stopping in segments here and there uh, possibly 10 minutes in sorry I'm still kinda new to this live commentary stuff but yeah uh, there's gonna be a lot of lot of 
quiet moments for me because there's a lot of stuff that's going on on around so we'll head on to this cut to the chase just walk right past me 16 no they didn't tell you my name oh, god damn it I'm still in the animus what a shock you suffered out there Rebecca, get me out of here. They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind, it's... broken. Broken. I feel fine. So did I. Hey. <laughs> Look at me now! Let's talk, buddy. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world. You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. Saved it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. And that won't be pretty. A sync nexus? I'm getting there, hold on. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data, you find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Finish what you started, until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Encio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body... It's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. A word of warning, when you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh, I thought you knew. Lucy. I'm so sorry. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. Yeah, this where this game last left off, you were trying to figure out where this Apple of Eden was. You had to go to this central point, and then it's he Sean. took. Sean, what's going on? Let me talk to him. Did you hold on? I'm putting you on speaker. Sean, it's William. Is everything taken care of? Oh well, hello to you too. For Christ's sake, man, have some class. All right, calm down. Oh, that's rich. Yeah, Lucy's dead, and you want me to act like it's Easter Sunday, do you? How's Desmond, anyway? Giving in? That's enough, Sean. What if he's a Templar, Bill? Hey, eh? What if he's been programmed? It's happened before. No, not Desmond. Right. You would say that. Sean. I believe they're done. But when I got rudely interrupted, where this game last left off, you were going into this central point, trying to get the apple of Eden, and then as soon as he grabs it, it takes hold of him. I forgot. I he says it's Juno, but I believe. Oh, I'm gonna go with them. I haven't played the game in a long time. But yeah, he takes hold of the apple. The apple controls him, and then he kills his beloved. Whatever her name was. Ha! <laughs> I can't believe I was not paying attention. But yeah, we'll cut the, mo the movie. Wow. Well, this does look like a movie. I'm in control of a movie. But we'll cut it here. I'm going to try to play for half an hour. 
stop my recordings and then start saving them and then play again I actually started playing for a full hour but that whole hour went to waste and enough of my ranting I'll see you guys later peace